Shares of General Motors accelerating today. The automaker announcing plans to spend another $8 billion on its EV ambitions. Let's get over to Phil Abo with the details tonight. Hi, Phil. Courtney, this is the third time that we've heard from General Motors in the last year and a half where they have said, hey, this is how much money we're going to be spending developing electric and autonomous vehicles through 2025. And look at how the spending has increased. Right before the pandemic, they said, look, we're going to spend $20 billion through 25. They upped it to $27 billion in November of last year. And now you see they've increased it once again to $35 billion. One of the key points in their extra $8 billion that they're going to be spending, the development of two new battery plants, so they're going to have four here. And here's the reason why. U.S. EV sales are expected to accelerate to more than a million vehicles for the industry by 2025, and General Motors expects to be a big part of that. Mary Barra, when we talked with her earlier this morning, said those battery plants, plants those four plants, are a key part of meeting demand. I have confidence that with uh, these four battery plants that we'll, we'll have by the end of 2025, we will have the capability to, um, to make sure we're able to deliver uh, on those EVs. And our, our goal um, and our commitment to continue to work to be number one in EVs in, in the United States and then in other markets around the world. In terms of global sales of electric vehicles, I get this question a lot. Where does GM rank? Well, they are technically right now number three. Those numbers are a little off there. It should be Tesla number one at 456,000 sold last year. VW is number two at 227. And number three is Volkswagen, or is GM, excuse me, at 214,000 vehicles sold. By the way, GM expects to sell one million vehicles, electric vehicles, annually by 2025. But it's all of the automakers, whether or not they're making big commitments like General Motors or smaller commitments that they really haven't outlined, like Stellantis, parent of Jeep and Ram, they are also benefiting. And that's because the EV planned spending, Courtney, get your ready for this, $330 billion. That's how much has been committed by the industry to be spent by 2025. That's an increase of 40 percent in the last year. That is a really eye-popping number. Phil, what about the semiconductor chip shortage and how that plays into higher expenses for a company like GM going forward for the development of electric vehicles? Well, the chip shortage is more of an acute near-term issue, and they are doing a better job than most other automakers in managing that. And proof of that came today when they raised their guidance for the first half of this year. They now expect to make between eight and a half and nine and a half billion dollars there was a point earlier this year when people said, look, we expect them to do a little bit better than, uh, than you know, five and a half to six billion dollars in the first half of this year. No, eight and a half to nine and a half billion, far better than what many people were expecting. And that's because they have managed the chip crisis. And of course, trucks and SUVs, record demand, record pricing. That's factoring into GM doing really well right now. So, Phil, when you look at how much money Ford is putting into the, the Bronco and it's not an EV, does that make right. you think that they're, they're taking their eyes off of where the puck is going when G, uh, GM no. is putting so – yeah, no, explain I, that to me. No, because I think the Bronco – when they said we need to make the Bronco, they looked at their product portfolio over, you know, a couple of years ago and they said, where are we lacking? Where is Ford lacking? And if you look at that, that lineup a couple of years ago, it was clearly lacking – in SUVs. The Wrangler was killing everybody. And they said, why not bring back the Bronco? You got great brand recognition. You have a product that you really haven't had in that, that segment. Let's bring it back. And you're seeing already strong demand for the Bronco. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an electric version of the Bronco at some point over the next couple of years. I think the Bronco is one element of Ford saying, you've got to take care of your customers right now who want the internal combustion engine vehicle, who are not going to wait for an electric vehicle mm -hmm. while planning for the future with EVs. Mm. Thank you very much, Phil. Let's trade this one quickly. BK, you buying GM? You want to go with Ford or Tesla? If you want to play EV, where do you go? So I think, if, I mean, listen, what you need for batteries and EV is a ton of rare earths. And all okay. the rare earths right now come from China. So eventually that's going to have to come to the U.S., and there's really only one way to play it out there, which is Mountain Pass MP. So I think you don't have to bet on whether GM or Ford or the Bronco or not. By the way, that Bronco is amazing looking. But you don't have to bet on whether or not those are going to win. You just have to bet on the picks and shovels or the parts of it. And I think it's rare earths.
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.